Mina, it's great to be here today. I have a poem dedicated to all of the artists out there. The Streets of Dreamers. You fired up the spark within me, igniting the wheels of my mind, inspiring a cascade of new rhymes. I feel transported to an earlier time, perhaps half a world away, that I only ever found in history's pages. Hanging out amid the angelic acoustics, I listen in utter fascination to the whirlwind of dialogue that surrounds me in this electric, eccentric bastion among these gritty city streets. It's as if these scenes had dropped out of a film or book about earlier revolutionary times where artists regularly attempted to push the world forward with every single word ever to dance upon their breath. Oh, that all could see such dreams with a welcoming heart, and that they may soon drip their paint onto the canvas of reality. As I gaze upon photographs of us gathered upon our stages, we painters, performers, and poets, who so often protest hardly for justice, I only see myself standing amongst greatness, a galaxy of rising stars and sages, joyously declaring our existence as together we rise. May you all go far. I still wander there. Not too sure what is running through my heart makes me keep running back to where I started, skipping down the red dirt way of memory lane, trying to find what it is I might have left behind. Could be a word, a smell, or something tasty might bring you right back in front of me. I'm expecting you to come walking right back, carrying that sack as we hiked along the tracks. You stand like weathered statues in my mind as it harkens back to those earlier times. When I return, I expect you here to find. Back in the days where we dressed in plaid and cowboy hats, roamed for many hours dodging trains, imagine that. When we swung from the rafters of the rail house, bouncing upon mattresses as though we could fly. We trekked beyond our clone homes and out, fleeing to the freedom of the fields and hilltops, where we climbed the hay bales to reach the sky. The pavement said dead end, but we just couldn't yield. We gathered in a circle on some dusty farmer's field, held up our hands in a pledge to save this very earth, and saying, this land is your land, without knowing every verse. Thank you very much.